behind me, we have the Royal Flair EcoMate 18. This is a fully fitted out tandem axle caravan. And right here we have Marvel. This is my girl, and she's here to help me check out the caravan. Now this caravan's an 18 footer, but one of the secrets to the layout lies in the clever bed system. It's just a case of removing some of the back cushions, lowering this table, and then we push a button and this bed will lower down electronically to your preferred height. This is a system that Royal Flare has been using for quite some time now, and for my money, I just think it works really well. In my opinion, in this day and age, when you've got that much lithium capacity, it makes sense to go for an induction cooktop. Look, they save space on the bench top, and in an 18 foot layout such as this, that is really useful. But speaking of bench top space, we also have a unit over here. And I don't mind the fact that Royal Flare has included these little wireless charging pads, one here, and one here. So no matter which side of the club lounge that you're sitting on, you got easy access. Now I reckon Royal Flare is working to some really precise tolerances in this van. Like for example, when I opened up this covered door, I half expected this door to sort of bind or rub on this material here, but it doesn't. There's a, a good centimeter or so of clearance. And then when you open it up, you can see that all your fuses, all your switches and everything are centralized in the one cupboard, which for me, especially in a smaller, you know, more compact layout, that makes sense because you're not cluttering your wall space. And that also includes the switch for the electric awning. We just push a button and the awning goes out, push it again, the awning comes in. Now this rear club lounge space really is very comfortable. And look, when I first stepped in, I did wonder about the headroom. I am a tall guide, about six foot two, but once inside here, look, I've got heaps of headspace. I don't feel cramped at all. I probably do need to duck a little bit to get inside, but that's a very small trade-off when you consider everything else that this otherwise compact layout has to offer. And then you've got this table here, which can be easily swiveled around left, right, forwards and backwards, and that helps for access to this club lounge space as well. Now, when it comes to this caravan's 12 volt system, as standard, you've got 600 amp hours worth of lithium across two separate batteries. While on the roof, you've got a thousand watts of solar, and they're on those special slide out trays that Royal Flare has been using for quite a while now. You just push a button and they slide out. The beauty of this system is that it maximizes your rooftop real estate. So that maybe down the line, you might be able to add another solar panel or two, or maybe even three. Now, the other good thing about this van as standard, you've got a 3000 watt and a drive inverter. That means you can power your aircon when you're off grid and any of your other 240 volt appliances. I mean, these days you've just got to have a good quality inverter in your caravan. Now the fridge is a 274 litre ventless compressor unit. You've got a cowfish van antenna antenna system on the roof. The caravan also comes with a 24 inch smart TV, speakers inside and out and just a bunch of nice little handy features here and there, such as your 12 volt Sirocco fans, your storage pockets. And of course, when you've got the bed fully set up and lowered into position, you've got access to heaps of little wall niches for extra storage space. It's really quite convenient. So by now we know this caravan has a lot of features. I mean, it also has a diesel fired combined hot water service and air heater, but the bench top material is different too. I haven't seen this before. Now, apparently it's a ply material, but coated with a very special, you know, finish known as Thinscape. Now I'm told that this material is so tough, so durable that you could even use it as a chopping board. It's designed to be entirely scratch resistant. And I can just sort of tell that it really is a hardy material. Now they've also used this material back here in the bathroom and it's a little bit different. Now in the bathroom, you might normally have like a hinge section of bench top to give you access to the you know top loader washing machine. But in this case, we actually have an insert that we have to fully lift off so that we can access the bench top. So that would mean we'd need to pop this somewhere while we're using the washing machine. So for now, I'll just place it next to the Thetford cassette toilet. But you know what, even though this caravan's an 18 footer with a rear club lounge and everything else, this bathroom at the front of the caravan doesn't feel overly tight. I think there's still a little bit of workspace here to be quite comfortable. And let's not forget, you've also got a near side shower, fully molded fiberglass as well, so it's not gonna leak. Obviously you've got some joins at the top, but that all looks neat and tidy. So I'll show you how to set up this bed system. And there are a couple of things that I'd like to point out as we go. First of all, we do need to lower this table and that's just a case of pushing the button at the bottom with your foot. We can lower that down. And then we do need to move these back cushions. And look, once those cushions are out of the way, it is literally just a case of pushing the down button. And just as the bed lowers, we can see just how precise everything is. We don't need to remove those side cushions. So how is the Royal Flare Eco Mate 18 built? Well, obviously it starts with the chassis. Now this is a truss chassis with six inch bearers. 
But what about the framing? Well, it's actually a full one piece, 18 mil CNC routed ply. And that's clad with composite aluminium. And of course you've got your black checker plate. The other thing about this caravan is it uses Cruise Master airbag suspension. And we have the controls right here. And look, we can see we've got a little TV mount here behind that. We've got the Cruise Master controls. We can go up and down with the suspension and we can auto level it as well. Now this caravan doesn't have a full tunnel boot system like you might expect. Instead, it's actually sort of cut into two different sections. We have one locker here and another locker on the off side of the caravan. And then here on the A-frame, we've got this absolutely massive storage box on the near side slide out tray which is going to suit you know portable fridge or whatever and i can see that royal flare has also included a little power point an anderson plug and i've got to say this light is a neat touch as well and it is quite a tall unit as we can see but we do have some storage space up here i mean that's probably where i'll put my camp chairs and maybe the jockey wheel but speaking of the jockey wheel we do have a blackjack unit on this caravan these are good systems they work well a couple of jerry can holders now at tear this caravan is 3045 kilos and because it has an atm of 4000 kilos what they've done is they've given this caravan the do45 coupling which is rated to 4500 kilos coupling load at tear mass 244 kilos so look we are looking at a fairly you know muscular sort of beefy tow vehicle for something like this especially if you want to make full use of the available payload capacity which is nudging 1000 kilos so as we move around to the offside of the caravan we can see we've got another slide out tray here and this is the other side of what would otherwise be a tunnel boot we have the other storage compartment but there is just a divider panel in the middle but that doesn't really impact the storage space so much that I can see. Now, as for the water capacity on this caravan, it's actually quite generous. You've got two 95 litre freshwater tanks. You've got one dedicated drinking water tank of 95 litres. You've also got a grey water tank as well. Now, look at this. Again, this is not always a given on Australian caravans, but these are the sort of touches that I like to see. So they've included a little stone guard here for the um, dump valve on the grey water tank. I mean, if you take this caravan down a gravel track or, you know, extended off-road touring, this would be gone in a heartbeat. That would be shot peen to pieces if it didn't have some protection. So that's nice to see. This is gonna be uh, the 12 volt nerve center of the caravan. So a couple of MPPT solar controllers, DC to DC charger, neatly labeled fuses, now at the back of the caravan we have the firewood carrier, a couple of jerry can holders and look the diesel tank for the combined hot water service and air heater that's afforded some protection by the jerry can holder and as we can see most if not all of the exposed steel components on this caravan are given this protective coating. Now one of this van's major features has got to be this slide out kitchen and it's not just a regular slide out kitchen either. I mean check out this. We've got another section here that slides out, a bit of extra bench space, which is fantastic. But look, with 600 amp hours worth of lithium, this caravan is designed to be entirely gasless. You won't find a gas bottle on this caravan. We have a two burn up induction cooktop, hot and cold water, a little bit of a sink. So yes, it is an 18 foot tandem axle caravan that does weigh just over three tonne tear. However, what you've got to remember is that this is a seriously strong, seriously well-built caravan with a lot of equipment on board. They've done a great job in terms of not cramming the features in, but putting them, you know, arranging them and installing them in a way that's really cohesive. And if it's matched to the right tow vehicle, then this caravan is bound to be a winner. I mean, personally, I do like my caravans to be roughly this size and the layout to me, I really like it. And I don't feel like this caravan is missing anything.